Verdi's opera Otello is without question one of his greatest operas. And in this opera, he uses the bass or the bass section in a very unusual way, never done before. And this bass soli happens in the fourth act, and it happens right before Othello murders Desdemona. This is the music that sets the mood for that moment. And it's very contemplative, it's very brooding, it goes from the lowest note that we have to a very high register and is filled with complex technical issues and at the same time is one of the best solos or solis that we have. There are a lot of technical issues to discuss in this excerpt, and musical ones too. Technically, the beginning is very challenging to hold this long E and save enough bow to gra grab the G sharp, that's the second beat of the second bar. Before I do this, I should mention that this solo, like others, like KJ and Mahler, are marked with a mute. I prefer to do it without, and most conductors, I think, would not have a problem with that. It does change the color, but it also impacts projection. So, when you start this, you want to save your bow in the beginning, Maybe start finding by finding your B here first. So you're set for the G sharp. Two, three, four, one. Two, three. And then don't move, keep your left hand there so you stay in position. Two, three, four, one. Now that, of course, you could do, but the color is so much nicer on the D string. These two long E's, by the way, have an accent marked, but the general belief is that those were meant to just to make sure that the note started well on time. So I wouldn't necessarily do a 
big accent like that. And in fact, the Metropolitan Opera, when they have auditions for basses, this is obviously on their audition list, specifically asked to not have an accent on those notes. Going on to the next passage, I prefer D string here. Now these next three E flat eighth notes, which come repeatedly during this soli, are marked three eighth notes, three up bows with dots on top. So they have to be, try to resist using too much bow for them because you get into an uncomfortable part of the bow for the rest of what follows. Now here's a note most people use four. I use two because it feels good. I'm accurate with it usually and it's a much more comfortable finger in this position than four. So try it. Now I go back to the half position. Three Ps and Morando. So I try not to use much vibrato here. Then the next passage, here's a good fingering. Two again. One. Two, four, two, one, four. Another set of E flats. And now the difficult shift of going. E flat to C flat, which is that interval. I do two to two, followed by one one thumb. Now piano with a small crescendo. Now you come to the passage where there's a cello rondo, rather difficult notes fingering here. I suggest this. Four. One. One. Two. Four. And ending 